So let's see what we have in number six. Académie scientifique de beauté, and that's an exfoliating cream. I guess for the face, yes, face and neck. So that is nice. And then we have number seven, which, what is that? Oh, okay. I just have like the packaging fell off inside of the box. This is a pair of tweezers. These are beautiful. It's from the vintage cosmetic company. I actually got something from them in a previous gloss box. These look very, very sharp. So it's gonna be really useful and they come with this little bit to protect the end. So that's cool. everyone so it is Thursday and it's the afternoon I'm about to get out and I didn't have a chance to film earlier today just because I was very busy but doing things that are not really interesting like invoices and stuff like that so I'm actually dressed up I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing at Thanksgiving so I didn't vlog that but I had my princess cooler bag because I have a ton of things in there I have my mini tripod this camera I have my GoPro a juice pack things like that. My bag is just packed because I'm actually first going to Le Sablon which I showed you in Tuesday's vlog, the church that we got married to. It's located on the Sablon and I'm going to the Yellow Corner store because I have a book signing with Jean-Charles de Castelbajac which is just one of my favorite fashion designer. I remember that he did a collection, I think it was for Les Trois Suisses when I was a teenager. I just basically asked for the whole collection for Christmas and I wore that for like five years. It was one of my favorites. So I'm going to his book signing. I'm very stressed out and nervous because I can get pretty anxious about this kind of thing just because I'm kind of an introvert. So yeah, and I'm going by myself, which is a bit stressful for me. But afterwards, I'm going to meet with Nadja, which you saw in my previous vlog. You didn't really see her, but I'll make sure to get some footage um, tonight because we're actually going to Antwerp because we let, let me just pick a nail polish while I still talk to you because my nails are just very naked. So as I was saying, we're basically going to Antwerp together because we had beauty days, which are basically um, events organized for beauty journalists and bloggers by the PR agencies in Antwerp. We're going to two events and then we're gonna have some dinner together in Antwerp. And I'm actually being the best wife ever because the place I'm going to is located next to the dry cleaner that I told you about. So I have both of my wedding dress and my husband's outfit to drop there um, as it's very close by. So I'm gonna leave you now because I need to put on my coat, jump in my car because as usual, I'm running late. I wanted to vlog that on the go. I really had to go and I really had to be in my car because I'm meeting up with Nadia. But I just met Jean-Charles de Castelbajac and it made my day, my week, my month, probably my year as well. He's just so nice. So he has a great mind, he has a lot of culture, he's funny, he, make, he made a compliment on my dress, which, oh my God, that just made my day. I've been a fan of his work ever since I was a teen, so it was like a dream come true for me, so he did a drawing of me. He followed me on Instagram, he posted a selfie with me. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just so, so, so happy right now. I'm just, it's one of those pinch me moments and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you because if I get to do that and feel those things and meet so many incredible people, it's because you are there, you're supporting me, you're watching my videos and reading my blog, so thank you because that was one of the best day ever. I, I can't believe. It's just, oh my God, so happy right now. Hi everyone, so we made it to Antwerp. We're actually running really tight on schedule. I'm with Nadia, who's driving. And that's the GPS going. <laughs> um, there's a lot of traffic, so we're hoping we'll make it. And yeah, that's about it. Are we to walk? Wait, wait. No, I'm walking. <laughs>
morning everyone don't mind my crazy hair i actually got it up when it was still a little bit damp but today's sunday and it's definitely sunday fun day because i woke up and Bruno was like you know what we don't have anything to do today ikea is open so let's go get the furniture for your closet and build it today so by the end of the day i should have a closet um, ever since we moved into this house, we never did the closet. Like I have this makeshift closet. Uh, we put those two units back in a few um, a few months ago, just because I really needed some kind of storage. So I've been planning my closet on the IKEA website for quite some times. So I know exactly what I want to get. I just thought about everything that I need to store, how I want it. So everything is on the list. So we're gonna get going, and I couldn't be happier. back from Ikea it was so busy and we had like two carts filled with stuff the delivery guy should be there within one hour one hour and a half so we're gonna get started and I'm so 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 excited I cannot wait so here's what I got so far that's just the thing that we took in the car with us so we have these things to protect cables that's not for the closet it's because the lovely cats keep eating our electric wires in the living room then I got two white bins to replace the ones that I have in my office which are like red and like in one bin it's just like one euro then I got a couple of hangers white hangers and I got these organizers to put into the drawer I actually already have quite a few but these are just the best I thought that I would show you the room when it's completely empty before we need any furniture. So in case you're wondering, over there, the disaster zone, that's our bedroom. And we basically have this room, which is in between, like this way is the corridor. So basically this, I guess, was supposed to be a bedroom, but it's still, um, since we made renovation, we made that door the only access to our bedroom because we knew that we wanted the closet to be in here. So the thing is that this room is beautiful, it's large, it got a lot of beautiful natural light, but the shape is pretty awkward because if you look closely at the window, you can see that we barely have any space between the window and the wall, which means that, for example, if I were to put any piece of furniture that is high over here, I would block the door, um, not the door, the window and the light. We do have this very big radiator, which means that I can't really put any kind of large furniture in front because that would block the heat. And then over here we got the door and then we have this kind of weird shape. And the thing is that this wall is a bit too short to put um, a wardrobe and this one is pretty large enough to put one so I'm gonna put a shallow one over here with all my bags and my shoes and I'm basically going to put all the um, other units I have four large units uh, over on this wall so hopefully that will turn out to be good and I just got a call and the delivery guy is gonna be there in 10 minutes so I'm just going to vacuum the whole place with that and then have lunch and get started so a little tip whenever you have to build IKEA furniture, start by unpacking all the pieces and just group them by type, lay everything down on the floor and make sure that your squirrel, like um, electric things, are plugged in so that you have plenty of battery to work. I have the best husband Heather, just came with my favorite beer, perfect. So current situation, we have two large ones that are built, the third one is halfway done and we're still going, we're pretty quick, I'm, I'm actually amazed it takes us about five good minutes to build just one so I think we're gonna be done within like 15 or 20 minutes maybe that is so exciting so here we go, we have the four big ones put into place we have the narrow one that's gonna go there in the works and then we have um, a chest of drawer that's either going there 
uh, somewhere there. So we'll see, but we're moving pretty fast. I'm really, really impressed. Looking good. So, so, so excited. And I'm building um, the inside of that bit where I'm gonna put shoes and bags. But this part is completely done. So happy with the result. Guys, we made it. Everything is built and I am just in love. It's really messy at the moment, like there's stuff everywhere. I just hanged everything, but nothing is in its place. I just wanted to get it out of the floor and out of the way because it's getting pretty late. Like we did um, a pretty long break to have dinner and just relax a little bit. So I just wanted to put everything in its place because basically half of that was on the bed. So I'll probably organize everything tomorrow, but this, this thing is gonna be so amazing. Like, look at that. I can fit my smaller handbags and my shoes and my bigger bags. So I'll probably see you tomorrow when I start organizing all of that. And yeah, that's probably for the best. I'm gonna crash into bed with a nice movie now.